Hello and welcome to the Law of Money. Joining me today is Surya Bhatia, well-known certified financial planner, and we are going to talk about, well, money. Now, the other set of questions that we keep getting from people, Surya, is that uh, I've invested, I invested three months ago, I invested eight months ago in a mutual fund. Um, Now I want to know uh, whether I'm on the right track or not. Should I exit this particular scheme and go into another scheme? And that's fair enough. I mean, one should keep evaluating one's portfolio from time to time. But what is the right duration by when you should evaluate? Now, that doesn't mean that if something significant has happened around that particular fund house that that you have to still wait. But uh, even otherwise, as a rule, uh, for example, uh, I don't evaluate my portfolio for more than a year. I have a good planner who does that for me. But most people have this doubt. So if you are on your DIY, do it yourself, what is the time at which stage you should look at your portfolio, mutual fund portfolio? See, ideally you should uh, have a watch of your portfolio maybe once in a six month scenario. So maybe twice a year is what you should look at to evaluate your portfolio. In case uh, something comes up in between, uh, which is a little uh, not expected, like a change in the fund manager, change in the attributes of the fund, objective of the fund, or the economy, something happens on the interest rates from a debt portfolio, or a big dramatic change happens on the global front, which can impact my equity portfolio, that for sure warrants some evaluation of the portfolio at that point of time. But assuming things are normal, then once in a six months, I think is a good case you should look at. There is no hard and fast rule about it. You can even look at once a year as you are doing it. But once in six months is what we typically propose you to look at your portfolio. Just see that if anything needs to be weed out from the portfolio, something which is not performing. Um, But as you talk about performance, I think the bigger problem uh, in the comparison stake is that everyone starts comparing a fund with the top performing fund in the market. Okay, But we really don't know, uh, with all respect to every fund for that matter, that how much risk that particular fund has taken, which is top of the charts, to give you that return vis-a-vis how much risk your performance of the fund has taken over the last few six months, if that's the period I'm evaluating. So that's very critical. A fund may have a very high mid-cap exposure, may have a very large equity exposure vis-a-vis what you have. But if I'm comparing my portfolio, which has, let's say a balance fund, which is very much in vogue right now, and my mandate is 65% equity in that. So, and maybe it's a large cap portfolio. So 65% large cap portfolio to another balance fund, same category, but having a 80% equity portfolio and dominated in mid caps, there is no comparison. But all my sites, all my comparative charts will throw the number of X and X plus a percentage, which this other fund, the fund B, let's call it as, has delivered me. So I will be by default, everyone for that matter, let's move to this fund B because I'm in an underperforming, but that's not the case. Maybe my large caps are not performed well and mid caps are done well. My equity exposure is higher in the fund B vis-a-vis my fund A. So all these factors go a long way in doing a due comparison. You may want to move to fund B, but once you understand the risk attached with fund B, because when the market goes down, fund B will have a more free fall vis-a-vis a fund A. Even fund A will go down but my risk would be protected, which would not be the case in case of fund B. So understanding your risk and then investing, that's a fair call. Do look at comparison with your benchmarks, which the fund offers. Yes, we always say in the similar light that the funds have an alpha to beat the benchmark to say how much my averaging of my returns are vis-a-vis the benchmark. Also look at the overall peer group average and then compare how your fund has done. That gives you a little more holistic way of the benchmark as well as a peer group and then take a call.